Good morning, guys and gals. This is your host, Joe, Life with Yosef. It's the 17th of May of 2024, and I'm going to give you a little update, but I'm going to talk about grief first. Everybody handles grief differently. And even though, like with the illness, I look okay, I'm talking to you calmly. The sun is right there. I can assure you that the internal turmoil is a raging sea of emotion and you don't see it because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put this on you people but um, I, uh, I I I I'm exposed to the Stoics uh, Marcus Aurelius and Seneca and they talk about managing yourself and managing your emotions and I you know but there are times where you know I'll see a, a little uh, a 10 second video of a, of a dog being adopted or something and uh, that's when the tears come a little little bit of the sniffles and you know 10 20 seconds okay it's it's abated but it's never going away everybody handles grief differently so that's your 80 84 second grief update now I talked about short-term travel plans and I am in Carson so I'm in Minden but I'm in the Carson Valley in Nevada and I'm gonna see my brother Paul in fact we're gonna we're gonna go have breakfast here in a little bit um, and then I'm gonna meet up with my bro Rich so I'm gonna have some fellowship up here I looked at the calendar and it's like okay now's the time to go I've also made reservations in June for two weeks down in the Inland Empire where I'm going to see my brother Leif. Lord once certainly. He's made it clear there are people that he wants to introduce me to. God love Leif, you know, when I first met the guy and we talked for three hours, it's like, you know, he's my, it's like an instant, my God, dude, you're my brother. It's like I've known you forever. So I'm going to see him and then I'm going to meet with a guy that I know, a YouTube friend that I, I just haven't met yet named Vin, and Vin has Adventure Vin and Euro Vin, and I'll link to that in the comment, or in the descript. He's also a docent at the Cucamonga Station, the historic gas station, which I went to a year ago, January, and I'll link to him giving a tour of the Cucamonga Station. So there'll be a few links here in the, uh, in the, uh, in the descript. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down there. There are some places that I want to go. I want to drive a little bit. I have, I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring Jolene. I don't know how I feel. I need to get it started. There's a nonsense, but I'm gonna go down there for two weeks, maybe three, four, or five days to get there, wander home. You know, it sounds really awful to say, but I'm just not on a timetable anymore. The deal with my wife was I'd be gone for no longer than two weeks. I could live with that. She didn't want me gone for six months. Come on now. But, you know, now, now that I'm a widower, I don't have a timetable. Now, the third I, uh, thing, and, uh, and I made the reservations up, uh, up in Coos Bay. Now, uh, for, the week out, for the week after the 4th of July, now, um, Bassendorf was full. And you really got to get Bassendorf early because it's all online. You just don't drive up and hope that they have a spot. It's online, which I think is, the, is the, uh, the great way to do it. So I made reservations at the mill where I stayed at before, certainly the last time where I was up before uh, for uh, scattering my birth of uh, Father Joe. And you saw, you know, you saw me out in front of and stuff. So you've seen the mill before. Um, I'm going to stay up there for uh, a week. Um, I want to stop out in Oregon. I have a friend I haven't met, uh, bro, uh, Nathan. Uh, Revan, Revan three, I'll link to him as well. His page. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't set up a little fellowship with him, and then I'm going to wander home. There's a couple of people in Shasta County, my bro John and my bro Little Bro, that I, I'm going to want to sit and visit with a little bit. So I may be gone a month there, but after that, um, my one of my brothers asked me, and I didn't take this like he was an ass. I, he just said, you know. If, do you have any idea what you're going to do? And uh, bluntly, yes. You know, I've always had some idea, the what ifs. I hate being unprepared. you got to have a plan. you got to have a plan for this. Um, a lot of other, other things, too. So 
um, my plan bluntly is to travel as much as my health and finances allow. I had wanted to go back to Texas and Kansas and Missouri and some places that I don't have the footage for anymore that I want to go back. I wanted to go back. I talked about, you know, uh, taking the train. I, I, I want to go to, I want to go to Key West. I don't know why. I just want to go. Uh, my brother, uh, one year, uh, rented, he flew to Miami, rented a convertible and drove down to Key West. And I'm thinking, damn, I'd like to go to Key West. Uh, my brother Charlie went to Key West with the, well, with his, uh, uh, with his, uh, family and he loved it. So my plan is really, I'm going to live at the hideout. I don't have, uh, well, the rent, the rent's going up to 775. I could live with that. Um, um. I like it there, you know. We suck a shitload of money into our, into into fixing it up. Um, I like the porch; it's really quiet. It's a fair value to live there. Um, I don't see a need not to live there. I'm not going to RV full time again because bluntly, I don't think I'm ever going to be healthy enough, and I don't want to sell the hideout because then there's going to come a time where okay. You're not going to be healthy enough, which may be now, and you need somewhere to live. And bluntly, I don't want to move. I don't want to store everything. I just, I'm there until I'm not. So, um, that's the plan, really. Is, is The plan is really not much different than before my wife passed. It's just that, you know, travel, health, and I'm really not on a timetable anymore. I thought about getting the, and it sounds horrible, and I'm sorry, and if you want to eviscerate me or you want to judge me, you go right ahead. I've thought about a dog, I've talked about a dog, I'd love to have a dog, I'd love to have some companionship, but I just, I don't see it being feasible right now with my health, and I don't know if it's ever going to be feasible, but I miss my boy, and I'd sure like to have a pooch, but it's not very likely. So here is your seven plus minutes of update grief a little bit of interaction i'm going to make a separate video about the drive up here and such so this is it for now this is your update this is as always your host joe thank you for watching i got sidetracked i had to i had to edit a bit um thank you for watching thank you for subscribing <laughs> I got, I got like 20 new subs, and it certainly wasn't my intent. You know, my intent for these videos is to let, you know, people who do, who do care about me know what the story is. You know, you all watch the video, you know what's going on. So, and everybody hears the same story. I don't forget something. But, um, and I will say that the initial announcement video and then the video of uh, Worf and the, uh, the doctor, uh, the professor, um, has got over a thousand, you know, like, uh, both of them, uh, both of them have got like 1,500 views. It's like, you know, I don't do this for the views or the clicks. I'm never going to be monetized. But I thought, well, isn't that interesting? And I've had some people that, you know, uh, um, internet, uh, YouTube randos uh, just, you know, dude, I'm sorry. So thank you for all that. Damn, it's awesome. So this will close up the, this uh, update and the grief. Now this is, as always, your host, Joe. Life with Yosef. Story time update. Enjoy your day. Peace be with you. And we'll see you for the next one.